G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for the weekly free instant tournament. This is an 8-board BBO tournament that you can play by going to Solitaire Bridge, and then weekly free instant tournament. So if you haven't played it, give give it a go first, and then we'll uh, see what we can do. Alright, so here I've got a balanced 12 count, 4 triple 3, and uh, my partner opened one spade. So this being a best hand tournament is really interesting when you've got sort of 10, 11, 12 points. Uh, now we've got a nine card fit, so I'm probably just going to bid three spades, like 10 to 12 limit raise with four cards. Um, slightly wondering whether no trumps will play better anyway, but I don't think there's any good way to try and find that out. Uh, my spades are good anyway. If my partner's, if my partner's got 12 points, I'll open it. But if they've got 11, they only really open unbalanced hands. So if my partner's got a singleton club or heart, I want to be in spades anyway. So three spades plus four spades. Okay, so singleton hearts, yeah. And we got a club lead. Uh, so we have a heart loser, a club loser, and a spade loser. Now, if I go up the ace of clubs and finesse spades, uh, then um, I might be able to draw trumps in two rounds, play five rounds of diamonds, pitching two clubs, and make 12 tricks if there's a singleton king of spades on side or king doubleton spade on side. Um, another interesting thing about the spade suit is I could play east for singleton tenor spades or spades to be 2-2. So my, my two choices are, do I think west has singleton king or do I think east has singleton ten? Um, because like I can either lead a low spade towards the jack, uh, but if I see a singleton ten with east, I can cross back to my hand and then uh, lead the queen anyway. So low spades the best. Uh, rather than leading the queen, because it picks up singleton king on side. All right, uh, so yeah, I think we just go for that. So fly ace of clubs, king falls. That's kind of weird. So east, east led the four. So there's the three and the two missing. So they can only have six clubs, which means west probably has west has the queen of clubs as well. So west has king queen of clubs. To uh, be throwing that away. Okay, so I didn't see the 10 appear, so we'll just cash the ace. And yeah. so there's king 10 third on side, so leading the queen uh, would have given me a choice of picking this up, but I don't really see any point to doing that. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, they can't see the north hand, so let's just exit with a trump and make them guess. Uh, what's going on? They have to cash a heart and a club at this stage. Now, if I keep... Uh, no, actually, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, because they, they have to cash the heart or else it's going on the uh, ten of clubs. Anyway, low heart to the queen and ten tricks here. Um, for probably a flattish board, maybe a little bit down. Oh, yeah, 39%. So some people are making the over. So one person's going down. Uh, a couple of people are making twelve by running the queen of spades. So queen of spades covered, diamond over, and finessing. That doesn't seem like good odds playing for West to have king ten third spade. Is there any reason that we should do that? We know West has king queen of clubs. Looks like they had six clubs there, but it's. I guess West wouldn't be sh throwing the king of clubs away from king queen third. So maybe we do know clubs are 6-2. So if we know clubs are 6-2, maybe it's right to play West for king 10 third. So it's not unreasonable, but um, I guess it's okay. It, like, if you draw that inference and are sure about clubs being 6-2. Uh, 6-12 highs, th 3 diamond opening. Um, I've got a short diamond and 12 points, so I'm going to get in here. I don't really want to just bid three spades. I want to double, just uh, give my partner some flexibility to do what they want. Um, and here we are in four hearts rather than four spades. So is there any real difference between these two contracts? So 
There'll be some people that pass, and I don't know what the opponents would get to if you pass, but basically we've got a diamond and two club losers. If I open, if I overcalled three spades, I'd get raised in spades, and then they would be able to see the diamond and two clubs there, so it's probably better being in hearts. Um, for the trickiness of them trying to cash out the suit. So if they play another diamond, or even a spade, good. Um, so that's even better. Now, I want to protect against 4-0 uh, heartbreaks, so play a heart to the ace, so I can pick up either way. Yep, and they're not. And now I get to draw trumps. And... So east has seven diamonds, and... Three hearts, one spade, and two clubs. Uh, basically, I get to pitch one one club on a big spade. Yeah, there's nothing more that's really happening here. So they get one more trick. Eighty-two percent. So what was everyone else doing on this? So a bunch of people in four hearts. They all get plus one. Ooh, so some people passed, and if you pass, your partner bids three hearts. And if you overcall three spades, then um, you just get raised to four spades. Someone passed and then passed again. That is very, very passive. But I, I kind of like double here because, like, partner might have a singleton spade and five hearts, or um, I, I just wanted to try and find a playable spot. My spade suit wasn't great. Um, also, sometimes partner just passes three diamonds doubled, which would be okay. Uh, so I, I like being flexible here and making the takeout double. Anyway, that was board number two. So we're at 60% um, after two. Ooh, I have a 10 count. So because this is a 10 count and this is a best hand tournament, everyone's got 10 points. If I pass, this will probably get passed in. I don't actually have the spade suit here, so passing this in is probably good. Um, if I had the spade suit, I would be opening this. Because of the the way this tournament works, knowing everyone's got 10, this is effectively the same as being in fourth position. So if it went pass, pass, pass to you, would you open? So here, um, if I had the spade suit, I'd open, but uh, here I'll just pass it in. 57%. And we have a heart fit, but the opponents have a spade fit. Uh, so someone got to three hearts, where they open one club, and then their partner, they got a spade over call, their partner doubled, and they got to three hearts, which goes down. Uh, someone opened one club, and never bid after that, and <laughs> they got punished by getting to four diamonds, which is pretty ridiculous, but they should convert that to four hearts for sure, and that goes down a lot. Yep. Okay, uh, so board number four, pass, pass a club, and here we've got six, seven, 10, 14 highs, four, two, five, two, so I'll just overcall a diamond. Uh, partner made a Q raise, so they got sort of 10, 11 points with clubs. So we're, we're there or thereabouts for three no trumps, but East has really good clubs here. Um, just trying to work out what I can do here. So am I actually interested in game? So I could bid something like two spades. If partner bids two no trumps, I go to three no trumps. Uh, but really I'm trying to go for like a 24 point game where East has a good club suit. So I'd need my partner playing it. I'd need them to have something like Ace of Clubs, which seems unlikely after the double. So I'm just going to take the low road, but at Imps I'd be more inclined to actually go here. Three diamonds. Wow. Takeout double. All right. So let's just redouble and try and, try and penalize them. Wherever they go, four diamonds. Right. Okay, I'm not bidding five diamonds. That's for sure. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so uh, 
Uh, what? <laughs> Maybe, I probably shouldn't double. <laughs> They're probably making this like. I have one defensive trick, so. <laughs> It's the most ridiculous auction ever, but if my, if my partner didn't double, I um, don't think I should. Okay, so East couldn't respond, and they've got uh, 10, 14 highs opposite my... Um, what, I had 14 highs, so 14, 14. Um, my partner's got 10, maybe 11. So let's say 10, because I think I've got 5 cards diamond support. Um, so 14, 14, 28, so West has two points, so my partner's got some, well, West has the King of Spades, so my partner's got the King of Hearts, Ace of Diamonds, okay, and there's something really weird about this shape, so we've got two hearts and a diamond trick, where's our other trick coming from? So spade up, and now they're cashing a club, and another club, maybe? No, so they're now leading a diamond, and trying to get a rough. I could draw two rounds of hearts. Like, I, I don't think we're in a rush to get a spade rough, although maybe my partner's got a spade rough. Like, uh, it looks like West probably has six hearts for this. Um, so we've got two heart tricks and a diamond. If my partner's got king third heart, they, they, they're always going down here. Um, if I play a spade back, they're kind of stuck in the wrong hand. So if I play a spade back, I can probably get my partner a... Trump promotion here. So spade, they play a heart. Well, they can't get off the dummy. So here, club, and we'll rough that. And now we'll try and cross rough high here. Uh, I should have roughed in with the queen of hearts. That was sloppy. Um, okay, so I'll rough in now. Play another one. And we scored all of our trumps separately, but we should have doubled this. 100%. Okay, uh, so plus 200 was worth 100. So what on earth did people do that was differently? So some people got to play three diamonds because they did two spades over that. Uh, some person three diamonds doubled, they just passed and then they didn't double three hearts. Now, I was all keen just to double everywhere, but when I redoubled, and then my partner ripped to four diamonds, and then didn't double them, I was like, what is going on? Um, but I was all keen, like, I wanted to encourage my partner to, like, penalize them, so that's what I think the redouble should be here. And when they did three hearts, this is a hand that I would double with. You've got two tricks, and you're a past hand um, with the king of hearts, so I would have just doubled them. The club's... They don't want to play there, so that's all fine. Uh, yeah, so we can beat this three tricks if we lead it low heart. Just heart, heart, diamond over another heart. Then they've just got no real tricks there. Uh, but that's a bit optimistic. Anyway, uh, fortunate 100% there. Um, some people got to four diamonds and went down. Uh, so it was lucky that West bit over that. Um, but also unlucky that my partner braced to four diamonds rather than just doubling three hearts. Okay. 10, 12 points, 6, 4 shape, partner opens one diamond. So do I want to bid my clubs here or do I want to bid spades? So in which scenarios do I ever actually want to play in clubs? If my partner's unbalanced, I want to play there. If my partner is a balanced hand... Like if my partner's unbalanced and has diamonds and clubs, I want to play there. But otherwise, let's just stop the spade lead. Uh, two spades, so we'll just bid four spades. I could have bid three no trumps, but I really don't actually want to play in no trumps. Um, so I was thinking like I could bid three no trumps so that if my partner's only got three card support, we can stop there. Um, 
So club lead looks like maybe they can get a club rough. Uh, if they can't get a club rough because I can draw trumps, then we're probably making slam because my partner has perfect cards for us. So club lead and we win. Um, so even if they get a rough, they only get one. So is a spade to the ace and another spade out going to achieve anything? It would only work if West had a doubleton spade and a singleton club, which seems unlikely. So I think taking the spade finesse is best. Um, now I could play a low spade towards the queen, protecting against West having singleton king. Again, I think they've led a singleton club. It doesn't have to be. Um, and the other alternative is I lead a low spade towards the queen, um, and then heart back, and then lead the jack. Um, which would work okay. Yeah, I'm happy doing that. So let's protect against Singleton King, just because we can. Okay, King was offside, and they now make me rough. So we'll just draw trumps here. Okay, and we want to be super safe. If I played a club to the ace, that might get roughed. So we'll play a heart to the queen, which won't get roughed. Draw the trump, and then ace of clubs, and we are now back to my hand uh, for 12 tricks. Okay, so no one had a singleton club on that hand. 68% um, seems pretty normal. Some people got to three no trumps. They started with two clubs, their partner bid two no. They never mentioned their spades, which seems pretty odd. <laughs> Uh, not finding your spade fit and finding the one game contract that can't actually make. Anyway, uh, we're in rank one or equal first with 69.28%, three boards to play. Let's uh, see what we can do. Uh, 12, 13 highs. We haven't picked up any strong hands. They've all been very uh, just sort of weakish hands. So a spade pass and no trump. Um, the robots play this as forcing. Um, this hand's probably played better in a suit contract, I'll bid two clubs. And my partner's got preference for spades, so I'll just pass. <laughs> okay, I don't really have preference for spades, but uh, I'm happy being in two spades playing match points here. Uh, we have two diamond losers, a club loser, a heart loser, a spade loser. Uh, so basically I just want to draw trumps. Um, I don't think West led away from the Queen of Clubs, so East will have that, so I'm not going to be taking the finesse here. Uh, so I'll just go in with the uh, King. And Spade towards the Queen. Okay, that lost. Another club, I'm still not finessing. Okay. So, just preserving that seven of clubs as an entry there. So I get to draw trumps now. Um, pitch one diamond. So spades were four, two. And now we'll just give up the queen of clubs. Okay, so the rest here are... I've got like I've got two diamonds to lose and a heart, and there's no way I can really do anything about it. So let's just fake it in the diamond suit. And now we are good. So rough, and I've got my club. Seventy-five percent for two spades making two. I really didn't do anything special in that hand. Uh, some people passed one no trump. But we have an unbalanced hand and partners playing a forcing no tr trump. Uh, two spades is just pretty easy. Just don't take the club finesse, um, which I reckon some people did. Just let low. Like, firstly, when you bid two clubs, why would West be leading away from the queen? Uh, secondly, why are they doing it at trick one? Uh, so here someone won the king and then... Didn't finesse now, but still went down. But I was going to say, when West leads the four, then the two, there's actually no holding that they can have where they have the Queen of Clubs. 
Anyway, in rank one with 70%. So, all right, so what do we have here? We've got uh, 16 points, balanced hands, so there's just a one no trump opening. One no, three no, nice and simple. All right, so club lead, which picks up the club suit basically for four tricks, but no guarantee. And like West might have led a singleton, but I'm not gonna play them for that. We've got two hearts and a spade. Um, we could work on diamonds, we can work on spades. My partner's got nine points opposite my 16, which is 25, 15 missing. Um, I can even stick in the tenor clubs, which can guarantee me being in the north hand, because I kind of want to play on spades. This spade suit sets up for a double finesse, so I can probably get like a couple of spades, a couple of hearts, four clubs, and work on a diamond. If I do that, they play a spade. I like if both spades are offside, that's a little bit bad, but I still think that's the best option. If I play on diamonds. I can guarantee a diamond trick. So I could play a diamond to the king, which loses. Then I could run the nine of diamonds, which loses. But then I would have two diamonds, four clubs, two hearts, and a spade. So if I play on diamonds, I can pretty much guarantee my contract here. If I lead the ten of spades and then the nine of spades, if both are offside and they switch to hearts, I might go down in this contract, but assuming that doesn't work, the other times I get two or three spade tricks and more information to work out how to play the diamonds. So let's go for that. Let's stick in the 10. I expect the queen to appear here. And I've got all the good clubs. Let's cross back to the nine of clubs. Okay, so I've got lots of entries. I can lead the jack of clubs to the ace and then the five of clubs to the seven. Um, but let's now work on spades. Ten of spades didn't get covered, which starts to make me think that maybe uh, it was offside. All right, so that is all good. So I went spade to the queen. East didn't put the king of spades on. West also returned a spade, which seems a bit weird. Didn't want to switch to a heart. Now they did lead something passive in clubs, which makes me think that they've got some points in all the suits. Um, now, which hand do I want to be in? Do I want to lead a low diamond towards the king? Looks like East has the queen of clubs and king of spades, but West might have king, queen of spades. It's hard to tell. West also has a heart card, but not both of them. Um, yeah, I can't really tell who's got what in diamonds yet. Um, so I'm just going to play west for the jack of diamonds and lead diamond towards the king and then run the nine of diamonds back. Should have led a low diamond towards the ten, actually. Okay. So... Um, I can almost certainly squeeze someone. It looks like East has uh, two diamonds, like eight doubleton diamond. So if I cash two hearts, so what if I win the ace of hearts, cash the ace of spades? And if I cash the ace of spades, then I have to pitch something from dummy. So I want that to be my squeeze card. I want to play the ace of spades squeezing someone. So let's play a club over and cash the king of hearts. Uh, club back to my hand. Okay, that's not good. And diamond over. I wonder if I could have timed that better. I got 60%, so let, let's 
get to where that was. Uh, so could have made it an extra trick if I led a low diamond rather than the nine of diamonds. That was just sloppy. Uh, there's no act. Don't like the nine of diamonds works as if East has like ace, no like doubleton eight of diamonds and diamond to the king held. But in general, I should have led a low diamond. So pretty sloppy there. Both spade honors were offside. Anyway, so 10 of spades, and then West was very generous because if they just played a heart and then another heart, I could have gone down. Anyway, spade lead gives me timing. So here I won low diamond towards the king and have to just lead a low diamond, basically. I can cash some tricks and then lead a low diamond, but the nine of diamonds cost me a trick. So now they played the 10 of hearts. Is there anything I can do here? Can't, so West is the only one guarding spades. West has spades and hearts. East has hearts and diamonds. Um, but I can't actually squeeze them. How unfortunate. Anyway, a little bit sloppy there. Got punished. Well, not really punished. Scored 60%. Uh, but could have scored 96. A few people only made eight. Uh, scored 18. Uh, anyway, one board to play in rank one, 68%. Hopefully we can finish strong. Uh, 6, 12, 14 points, triple four, one. I'll start with a club and raise to two spades. Inviting. Okay, so I do have 14 points. I do have a singleton queen of diamonds, so I'm not counting both of them, but this hand is sort of worth 15 points. So I should go to uh, four spades. Um, let's think, what do I actually need from my partner? It's sort of 11 points here to make. So. If I had king of clubs, king of hearts, king of spades, that looks like that would be enough, which would be a nine count. So I've shown 11. I may as well give it a shot. Okay, so <laughs> uh, I think I just predicted almost exactly what my partner had. Uh, we have a heart loser, a club loser, no spades. We've got a diamond loser. We just have to avoid any roughs immediately. So... My partner had an extra jack of spades, which is like just more than I was actually needed. So that got like a 10 count when I only needed a 9 count. So what I was doing there was just visualizing a hand where we could have actually made. All right. Uh, well, the jack of spades isn't wasted. Uh, okay, so... We still have those three losers. Uh, my partner's still got two more diamond losers that I have to deal with. Uh, and it looks like West has the Ace of Clubs, but they didn't take it. So East probably has five diamonds. It's probably a zero four five four. If they had other stuff, then it probably wouldn't work. Uh, so let's just win and. I can't draw trumps because of the uh, diamond issue. Heart over and king of diamonds. So they've got ace of hearts, king of diamonds. Okay, so at this stage, uh, the ten of hearts is good. And I've got the jacket clubs back to my hand. Yep, so I got the uh, rest of the tricks here. I can just draw trumps. So even the 4 nil split didn't uh, finish me. Um, I get to just pitch both of those uh, on my hearts. Both of the diamond losers. So that should be pretty good. 67%. Uh, so finished in rank one, 68% total. Uh, someone managed to make an over trick, which I think is kind of ridiculous. Um, seeing as we were missing three aces and there was a four zero split. <laughs> so like, yeah. Anyway, I'll take it. 68% uh, rank one, good weekly free instant tournament. Lots of these had really like close uh, point counts, like 10 to 13 points most times. 
and use, utilizing that best hand tournament. Um, I was sloppy on board seven where um, I played the nine of diamonds, cost myself an over trick there. Uh, got something generous here on board four, but my partner, I don't agree with their four diamond bid either. Uh, board one. Um, yeah, so this one was a really interesting one. Should you actually play, like, do we have the read that clubs are 6-2? And if clubs are 6-2, then playing spades to be 3-1 uh, is completely sensible and running the queen of spades. First board out of slots wasn't uh, good enough to make that call, but the more I think about it, I, th I think I like playing for that because uh, West wouldn't be throwing the king of clubs from king, queen, small, you wouldn't think, so... And you can tell that clubs aren't 7-1, but 6-2 because of the four of clubs led. So, yeah, like, I, I reckon uh, Queen of Spades is probably right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this weekly free instant tournament, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.